I really love using soft pastels. They're so much fun to blend and to create all these beautiful colours. And in this book, Painting Skies in Pastel, Creating Dramatic Clouds and Atmospheric Skyscapes, you are going to find the most beautiful, stunning paintings. Now, Sandra specialises in pastels and charcoal. She likes to paint skies, sea and landscapes. And in this book, we have 128 pages and six step-by-step -step projects. Now, with this book, you really do need to start at the beginning and work your way through because the projects have been described as increasingly challenging. Now, all of the projects in this book, you do have to use soft pastels because there's lots of blending and it's only going to work with soft pastels. Now, let's see if we can open up and have a look inside. So we have a picture of Sandra. Lots of beautiful paintings in here and the colours are lovely. So in the contents we have an introduction, what do you need, pastels and colour, painting skies. And then we have the projects which are blue sky white clouds, cloud burst, windy weather, vivid sunset, stormy sunset and delicate sunrise. And then we have the Pastel Sky Clinic, which is like a first aid course for your possible mistakes and the index. So here we have the introduction and I'd always encourage you to read the introduction. It's great to hear from the artist and the author and they often talk about the book and how to use the book. So we move on to the anatomy of the sky and this shows us this beautiful dramatic picture, different types of cloud and colour transitions. Highlights there as well. What do you need? What pastels to use? And as I mentioned a minute ago, you do need to use soft pastels. So we've got Sandra's choice of pastels, exploring the sky set. This is her preferred uh, colours that she likes to use, the importance of paper, all about pressure, handling pastels. Now this makes this book very uh, easy to use if you're a complete beginner, shows you how to hold the pastels, how to create the different effects. Then we have blending, other essentials, pastels and colour. The rule of three, choosing a palette, bridging colours, now painting skies before you begin and some pastel painting advice and then we move on to the projects. Now each project is set out the same, you have your colour palette here, you have a full picture here of the finished painting and then you have five stages. So you can see there's lots of illustrations, there's written details as well. Very easy to see where you're going. And then when you get to the end of stage five, you will see your finished painting again. So we move on to cloud burst. The colors in here are just so beautiful. And there's the finished painting for that one. Then we have windy weather, these wispy, swirly clouds. So pretty. And vivid sunset has these really bold, warm colours. It's really great to see the different stages of the painting. There's the final picture and then we move on to stormy sunset. Great selection of colours. Love this. And the final picture for that section. And then we have this beautiful delicate sunrise with these lovely soft pastel colours. Really pretty. And the finished picture for that one as well. Then we move on to this Pastel Sky Clinic, Managing Mistakes, How to Know When the Painting's Finished, Creating Delicate Wisps of Cloud, isn't that beautiful? Controlling the Contrasts, 
sunbeams, colour transitions in sunsets and sunrises, creating depth. We missed a page. Dealing with the horizon and adding movement. So sadly, that is the end of this book. Really love this book. Now, if you like Sandra's paintings, go along and have a look at her website because she's also a teacher and she has two lovely unison pastel sets on her website. She has Stormy Skies and Dusk Till Dawn. Now, I absolutely love the unison pastels. I've only got one small set of eight. I have got other soft pastels, but the unison ones are so beautiful to use and to blend with. And I've got both of Sandra's sets on my wish list now. Another thing I've put on my wish list, Sandra and Search Press, if you should happen to watch, I would like to see in a year or two Painting C in Pastel by Sandra because I think that would be a brilliant companion book to go with this. And her paintings are so stunningly beautiful and inspiring. Now, I hope you liked looking at Sandra's book and... I am really excited to get started now and to really experiment and work through the projects in this book.